Welcome to another episode of Jesus and Jammies, where God's story brings us together. Are you ready for some fun? Yes, me too. We're shouting out some gratitude this month. Remember, gratitude is letting others know you see how they've helped you. Let them know. Don't keep it inside. Say thank you. It'll change your whole outlook on life. Hey, quick question. Have any of you ever gotten hurt? Skinned a knee, broke a bone, bonked a head, something? I remember I actually cut my hand open and I remember it wasn't healing well until my mom helped me. I can remember getting help when I was hurt. I was really thankful that my mom was there to help me out. I bet our favorite Scottish rapper has had some help when he was hurt. Let's see what he has to rap about in this week's Get Real video. Excellent. Yeah, yeah, I love it when you get yeah, excited. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey there. I'm MC Haggis, and this here is my beatboxing partner, Seamus McFamous. Say hi to him, Seamus. Hi. Hey, he just did. This part is about gratitude. Letting others know you see how they've helped you, and that's exactly what we're doing. This is our way of saying thank you. <laughs> that's right. Me and Seamus are so excited to say thank you. Yeah. <laughs> to everyone. So from the bottom of our hearts, we say thank you. I I no I I ah we there's there's no point in going any further with this now. Me and Seamus just realized that we can still say thank you. Only we'll start small by thanking one guy. Hank! <laughs> we thank you. No, I think we should lay down a rap about it for Hank and everyone else. Check it. We got sad when we popped balloons and it almost changed our attitude. But now we're laying down some awesome tunes because we can still let others know we see how they've helped us. And that's gratitude. Words. Yeah. Ah, right. Who else could you think we could think? All right. Uh, Han. That's right. Who else? Con. Con! He's a bad guy. Thank you, Seamus and Haggis. That was a ton of fun. You know what else is fun? Birthdays. Birthdays! And we got five to celebrate this week. That's crazy. Olivia, Kessel, Caden, and Malachi. Those are our four kid birthdays this week. Happy birthday to you. We have an extra birthday as well to celebrate. And it's one of our members of our cast here at Jesus and Jamie's. Guess who it is? Miss Elizabeth! So for all of you, Olivia, Kessel, Caden, Malachi, and Miss Elizabeth, get up on your feet. Do some stretching, because we're going to do the Gray Squirrel. Gray Squirrel! Dance. So get up on your feet, because here we go! Gray squirrel, gray squirrel, shake your bushy tail. Gray squirrel, gray squirrel, shake your bushy tail. Crinkle up your little nose, stick a nut between your toes. Gray squirrel, gray squirrel, 
Shake your bushy tail. The Bible. It's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how He created us and loves us so much that He made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. And now for an amazing story. Hey friends, I have to say, teaching you all from the Bible is just about my most favorite thing to do. I just love hanging out with you and sharing God's word. There's so much great stuff in this book and today's story is no different. It comes from the book of Luke. Luke is one of the four gospels that tell the story of Jesus' life. What are the four gospels? There are the four books in the Bible called Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. When you read them, you'll find out about Jesus' miracles, the things he taught, the way he loved people, and of course, the way he rose from the dead. People wrote down what Jesus did and said because they had never met anyone like him. They believed that he really is the Son of God. Luke, who wrote the book of Luke, never met Jesus, but was good friends with Jesus' good friends. Luke was a doctor, so he included a lot of great details as he told the story of Jesus' life. There's a story in Luke 17 that shows us something really important about gratitude. This story is about 10 men who are very sick. I can't tell this story by myself. I need some help. In fact, I need everyone's help. We have cue cards for you to react to throughout the story. Whatever it says on the sign, that's what you do. For example, Great, you get the picture. Let's get started. One day, Jesus was traveling to Jerusalem. Luke doesn't say how Jesus was traveling. Maybe he rode on some kind of animal. Well, maybe not that kind of animal. Probably one more like this. Hmm. I suppose it's possible. Or maybe he was just walking. Not bad. Have a seat, and we'll continue. Jesus was traveling between two places, Samaria and Galilee. People from Samaria usually didn't hang out with Jewish people from either Jerusalem or Galilee. They were not fond of each other. Grr. Jesus was headed into a nearby village when he came upon this group of men who were sick. There were 10 of them, and they had a terrible skin disease. Other people didn't want to get this skin disease, so these poor men had to live far away from town. Healthy people would just walk right past them and keep their distance. But not Jesus. He stopped when they called out to him. Maybe they recognized him from somewhere, or maybe they heard he was on this road because they called out. Nice job. Now remember, these men have been completely pushed out of the town because of their disease. And wouldn't you know it? One of the 10 men was actually a Samaritan. Jesus was Jewish. He wasn't supposed to hang out with Samaritans, let alone one with a horrible skin disease. But Jesus did stop. He did have pity on the men. He said to them, go. Show yourselves to the priests. I know, that might seem a little confusing. These men were begging Jesus for help and Jesus told them to go see the priests. Now, understand this, the priests in these times knew all about the laws of God and they were also kind of like health inspectors. Chances are these men have already gone to the priest. The priests were probably the ones who told, had told them to leave town in the first place so that no one else would get their disease. Now Jesus was telling the men to go back. Yeah, I'm pretty confused too, but don't worry, Jesus had a plan. The men traveled to see the priest and at some point along the way, something happened. While they were on the way, they were healed. 
Yes, Wei! Jesus sent the men back to the priest so they could show that their skin disease was completely gone. Wei again. Now, have you ever been sick? Like with a stuffy nose or a fever? Do you remember what it feels like? When I'm sick, it's like the end of the world. I am the worst patient. I want to lay in bed and never move, kind of like this. I can't even remember what it feels like to be well. I just lay there and I moan. Yeah, like that. It's horrible. But listen, do you remember what it feels like when you finally start feeling better? You can breathe through both nostrils again. The water in the shower doesn't make your skin hurts like crazy. You're up and you're moving again. Do you remember what that feels like? Yeah, just like that. Except for these men, it was like times 100. They could see their families again. They could dance in the street. It was like... Wouldn't you? Yeah, you'd think the least these men could do would be, I don't know, to say thank you to Jesus, the one who had healed them. You better follow this one, it's gonna get good. But out of those 10 men who were healed, only one of them came back to thank Jesus. Only one man decided to go back and say how grateful he was because Jesus had changed his life forever. Can you guess which man came back? It was the Samaritan. I know. <laughs> Jesus asked, were all 10 healed? Where are the other nine? Then maybe in a louder voice, those around him could hear. Jesus asked, didn't anyone else return and give praise to God except this outsider? Everyone just looked around. Jesus told the Samaritan, get up and go. Your faith has healed you. When Jesus told the men to go see the priests, they didn't know what was going to happen. They had probably heard that Jesus could do amazing things. Maybe they were disappointed at first when Jesus told them to go, but then on the way, they got their miracle. It was the one thing they wanted, the one thing they thought could never happen, the one thing that would change their lives forever. And when it came true, only one of them stopped long enough to thank Jesus for it. We can learn a lot from this story. There's one simple thing that all of us need to do. Say thank you. When someone does something for you, say thank you. Don't just assume that they know you're grateful. Say the words when someone holds a door open for you offers you an extra pencil, or saves you a seat. Those two little words will show a huge amount of gratitude. Say thank you. God has done so much for us. What do you say we take some time to thank him? Now let's pray. God, we are going to take this time to thank you. You have taught us many different ways we can say thank you, but we know the easiest way to do it is to just say those two simple words. God, I hope this story transcends through all of the children listening and even to the adults listening, because we all could use some time to show some gratitude to not just you, but to everyone around us that we care about and love. In your name we pray. Amen. Wow. It's so cool how Jesus healed those men. And it's hard to believe that only one of them took the time to go back and thank Jesus. I wonder why. Maybe they were in too much of a hurry. Maybe they figured out that Jesus already knew they'd be thankful. But it's not enough for us to just feel gratitude. We need to say it. We need to let people know that we're thankful. I mean, you know what it's like. You're in the middle of something. You're busy. Raise a hand if an adult has ever had to remind you to say thank you. Yeah? Yeah, me. Me too. Of course. And they're absolutely right. We need to say it. We need to be like the man who actually came back to thank Jesus. We need to make the wise choice and take time to thank people who have helped us. It's simple. Say thank you. Take time to say thanks. Don't keep it inside. Don't be in such a hurry that you forget to thank people who are always there for you. And while you're in a thankful mood, 
Thank your moms and dads for being awesome, will you? Well, that's gonna wrap up another episode of Jesus and Jammies. We hope you've learned a little more about faith and had some fun along the way. Make sure to join us today for our online streaming worship service at 10.30 a.m. Everyone is welcome. Kids, adults, grandparents, aunts, uncles. And if your dog and cat are in the room with you, that's okay too. Instructions for how to join are our website at GenevaPress.org. So from all of us here at the Jesus and Jamie studio, may you have the joy, love, and peace of Jesus until we see each other again. Give, give thanks to the Lord.